Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1413. Hey, we got to talk about the amazing set default layout in a pivot table. Now, this is a new feature. If you are on the Insider Edition fast version, you actually got this feature a few weeks ago. I'm on the Insider Edition slow version, and I just got it a couple days ago. And future versions of Excel will have this for a pivot table. Now, why is this so awesome? Because when we create a pivot table, I'm going to click in a single cell, Insert, Pivot Table, or Alt and V. We're going to put this on this existing sheet, cell I3, click OK. And here's why this is so amazing. If I drag product down to rows, sales down to values, that row label is a terrible label in a report. So what do we always do? Design, come over to Layout, Report Layout, the drop down, and you can choose Outline or Tabular to show the field names instead of row labels. Now, this may be the last time I ever have to do this, because when I click on that, now I can go up to File, Options, and on the Data tab on the left, there it is. Make changes to the default layout of pivot tables, Edit Default Layout. Now, we can actually import, which I'm going to do right here. And you'll see that this can change. If I click Import, you can set your defaults for subtotals, grand total, report layout, choose whether or not to insert blank lines after each item, repeat all item labels, or even include filtered items in total. And look at this, pivot table options. If you always uncheck auto column widths or whatever it might be, you can go through here and set your defaults. I'm going to click OK, click OK, and click OK a third time. Now I want to click inside this table, Alt and V, and I'm going to try and see if this will come out looking good from the start. I'm going to drag Sales Rep down to Rows, and look at that. It says Sales Rep up there, Product down to Columns, Sales down to Values. That is absolutely amazing. If we try from a Power Query table, Control Home, Alt and V, I'm going to put it on this sheet. It better work too. Click OK. Region down to rows, sales down to values. That is amazing. I also have these tables in the data model. So let's try and make a pivot table from the data model and see if the default settings will work. Alt and V. There, we're going to use this workbook's data model on an existing sheet. Click OK. Go over to Sales Rep down to Rows. Look at that. That is amazing. Sales down to Values. That is amazing. Default layouts for a pivot table. All right, we'll see you next video.